this continuing meeting of the Public Utility Commission is now in session. We have one item on the agenda. The uh, Go Utility Revenue Bond Series 2017A. Thank you, uh, John Burmeister with uh, Public Financial Management uh, here today to uh, describe the uh, bids that we received. The uh, Public Utilities Commission in the city did solicit proposals from underwriters uh, this morning. Uh, you should have a results of the sale um, at, your, uh, at, your, at your packet there. Uh, you can see here that we ended up receiving, uh, there's actually six different bids. You can see FTN Financial Markets out of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, and then if you go to the next page, you have Robert W. Baird. Uh, they're out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Wells Fargo, Fargo uh, bid out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Northland Securities bid out of Minneapolis. And uh, Cantor Fitzgerald uh, bid out of uh, Memphis. And then last but not least is Stiefel Nicholas out of Birmingham, Alabama. So quite a bit of diversity in terms of the locations of these, uh, these underwriters. We offered 5560000 of general obligation uh, public utility revenue bonds. Uh, you can see on the lower right-hand corner, so everyone see the, the TIR, that's true interest rate. Uh, that's similar to uh, what you may be familiar with is the uh, APR on a car loan. That's, we call it uh, uh, TIR, it's a true interest rate. It's our version of the, the same concept. Uh, they factor in the, uh, the interest rates as well as the compensation from the, from the underwriters and they blend that to an average rate. So you can see that uh, FTN financial capital markets bid a 2.5461%. And then you can kind of look at the uh, the other folks. Uh, Robert W. Bear was really, really close to them at a 2.583. Uh, and then Wells Fargo was really, really close to uh, Robert W. Baird's at a 2.588. Uh, Northland Securities at a 264. Uh, Cantor Fitzgerald at a 265. And then uh, uh, Stiefel Nicholas at a 2.71%. That's all a reflection on their view of their credit. Uh, it's a view of what their investors are demanding for, for interest rates. That's why you kind of get different opinions on this rate. Uh, we did spend about an hour on the phone. Uh, it was with, uh, with Patrick, Chris, uh, and, and Nicole, myself, and Arcelia. Uh, we went through uh, the, the, uh, the, the credit rating of the city as well as the PUC. Uh, from the PUC's perspective, I, I guess I can just pat you guys on the back. Uh, the, the coverage is, is, is very strong. Um, it was very uh, wise of management to sell this issue, because this issue, as you remember, uh, you have several issues that are coming offline that are, that are being paid off. So even with the addition of this debt issue, your, your debt service is actually going to decrease over the next few years. And, and that's just perfect timing. You put another bond issue when another one's coming offline, uh, which now is not going to raise the, uh, uh, the debt service of the PUC overall. Uh, coverage is very strong at, uh, in excess of four times. Uh, the the uh, cash that by the way is a, a function of long-term solvency how many dollars of revenue are you generating for every dollar of debt service it shows what the flexibility is for the you to have a drop in revenues or a spike in expenses before you can't make the debt payment and at four to five times uh, coverage the the risk of that is very very minimal uh, that then is flowing down into uh, your cash balance which is very strong at six months reserve right where you want to be at six months uh, that's kind of uh, what we call short-term uh, liquidity, and that's important as well because how much cash do you have to uh, offset uh, unseen, unforeseen expenses that you may have, uh, water main breaks, uh, sewer breaks, uh, maybe, a, maybe a, um, a storm that comes through town. You have the reserves uh, to take those on. So all of that was looking uh, very strong here as well. Because this has the city's uh, general obligation backing, uh, interestingly enough, if you visit with the rating agencies, they will say that the Public Utilities Revenue Commission itself is an A2, and then the city's GO rating is an A2. So you would think if you combine the two together, that would be the PUC would be stronger because it has the PUC plus the backing of the city, and the rating agency takes the what they call the weak link method. And given you both are double A2, they put you at the lowest rating, which is double A2. Um, and that, that has changed over the last 15 to 20 years, uh, where they had the PUC rated a little bit higher than the city um, many, many years ago. Um, and so that's what they did there. So I'll open it up to any questions, and if there aren't any, um, PFM would recommend that you award this to FTN Financial Capital Markets uh, at a true interest rate uh, of 2.5461%. Just one quick question, just for my own information, on this uh, front page, you've got the year, the rate, and the yield. Mm -hmm. um, is that because of a discount? The yield is lower? Is that the coupon is like three? 
Yeah, actually, in today's environment, uh, the investors out there think that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to raise interest rates. So there's a couple of forces uh, working here for you. Uh, because they think interest rates are going up, uh, most investors are, are requiring or demanding uh, a higher coupon than the yield. Yep. Because as the interest rates go up, the price of that bond will fall slower. So it protects them a little bit from rising in this uh, interest rate environment. That's called convexity. It slows down the speed. If it sold at a par or a discount, that price would fall a lot faster. The other thing is, is uh, investors out there are, are, are seeking income at interest rates so low. Uh, they're willing to pay you more than the par amount of what you're going to pay back them to get a 3% coupon because they need income and they're willing to pay up for that income uh, stream. So I can't remember the number. It was like a 102. So they're paying you 102% of the par amount mm -hmm. to receive $100 back Gotcha. Uh, so they can get that 3% coupon. Sure. Uh, at the end of the day, you're basically paying a 1% yield uh, to them. And you'd be surprised how many investors think they're getting a 3% interest rate when they're really yielding yes. 1%. Yes. So I think there's some um, uh, knowledge out there that maybe is not really uh, being conveyed to them as well. But the institutionals are sure smart about that. Is FDM uh, capital, they sell off to individual investors then, or do they sell it to a mutual fund? Uh, they'll probably sell this to uh, uh, both retail and institutional okay. investors, yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I'll entertain a motion. I'd offer the resolution and waive the reading authorizing the issuance awarding the sale and fixing the form and details for 5560000 general obligation utility revenue bonds series 2017A and authorizing the mayor and finance director to execute the bond documents on behalf of the city of the <coughs> of New Orleans Public Utilities 2017 PUC wastewater ATAD and 20th North Street sewer improvements. I'll second. Okay, we have motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Roll call. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Roll call. Nicole, please. Commissioner Baranek? Yes. Commissioner Hillersheim? Yes. Commissioner Swan? Yes. Okay, so anything else? Going, going. We are done. Adjourned.